the sun is setting and we can just pretend that it is a vibey or whatever. Hi, hello, welcome back to Last Looks. My name is Carly and um, today uh, I have not, I will, I have a confession to make and that confession is I haven't washed my hair in over a week. Today is day eight. Usually I wash my hair once a week, but um, this weekend is one of my greatest friend's birthday weekends, and we are going to go spend it out on the river. Uh, so I figured if I am going to be out swimming around in fresh water, because um, fun fact about me, if we are going to go swimming, I am going to go swimming. I'm going to get my head underwater. I'm going to be crazy. It's going to be a whole thing. Um, so I figure after I get into a fresh body of water with fish, uh, I probably will want to wash my hair and it is a sin in this house to wash your hair two days in a row. But here's the thing, the night before we go on the river is her little like birthday dinner, shenanigans, whatever, um, and I would like for my hair to look nice. Um, so my plan for today was to show y'all how I make my very dirty day eight hair look nice um, without a hat on because that's how I wore it today with this hat on. I really like this look, but I am not going to um, get myself stuck to this look this weekend. I would like for my hair to just look nice and then also be able to get it wet and wash it because it is so absolutely disgusting. So that is what we are going to do today. Um, and I guess to do that, I have to uh, I gotta take the hat off, don't I? Want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. Okay. Ew! <laughs> this is very greasy. This is what my hair looks like on day eight. Like I said before, I wash my hair like once a week. Um, usually, I am ready to wash it by the end of the week. And I will say I am ready to wash it. My scalp is a little bit itchy. It is, I mean, you can see it is quite greasy. Also a little bit sweaty from being under the hat. So I'm gonna show you guys from start to end how I am going to fix that. I even have some humidity like little curlies. All right. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is give it a little itch. Oh. <laughs> and then the first thing I'm actually gonna do, and this is so gross. No one's allowed to judge me for this video. Everyone knows that, <laughs> what am I doing? Everyone knows that it's good for your hair to not wash it. So you guys cannot judge me on not washing my hair. This is a curtain. This is a curtain. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is blow dry this sweat. So let me get my blow dryer. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is um, today I'm going to be heat styling my hair. I really only heat style my hair usually once a week right after I do the first wash. And then I stop heat styling it for the rest of the week. Um, so I guess this is technically still heat styling once a week, uh, just not washing it. So I'm going to be heat styling my hair today. I was going through a phase where I wasn't heat styling my hair at all, but on my hair health journey, I have realized that, um, I have to have moderation. Uh, I can't just go all in on like no heat styling, uh, and all that kind of stuff because like it makes me unhappy with my hair, which is not what I want. We're all. I am taking really good care of my hair, which I'm very proud of. All that to say, we are getting ready to heat style the hair. But first, we are gonna put in this Pantene Miracle Rescue 10-in-1 Multitasking Spray, which is maybe one of my favorite things I own for hair. It is so good at keeping your hair soft. It's a leave-in conditioner. It's supposed to repair. Um, and then also, it protects your hair from heat damage from hot tools and blow dryers, but also, it's got UV protection in it, like sunscreen for your hair, which I really appreciate because I'm trying to protect my hair at all costs now. So I'm really just running this through. I don't want to miss any sections because I am going to like really do work on curling my hair today. Um, also, I used to use the Tresemme heat protectant, but then one of you guys commented on my, I think it was my heatless curls video that, um, that was making people's hair fall out or it had some kind of ingredient that was like bad. I'm gonna brush that through my hair with this um, wet brush. I got a new wet brush because the other one, this one's disgusting and full of hair. 
Uh, my other one I dropped in acetone and it melted. I'm gonna make sure to get all the tangles out. This is argan oil. Just regular old argan oil. I think that this one's just from Walmart, but you guys know about argan oil. It's my favorite oil for hair. The recently I have been trying out um, vitamin E oil, which I also really like for hair and skin. Did I just have a tape in come out? No, I didn't. Ha ha ha. So there we go. There's that leave-in with that oil. Obviously my hair hasn't been conditioned in eight days also, so it's feeling kind of dry. So I really can kind of go in with that oil because especially these tape-ins, they don't make their own like sebum or, you know, the natural hair oils don't get to them. So they really need to be like taken care of. And I know twisting my hands around them isn't really taking care of them, but there's all that oil in my hair and in my bangs. And now I will get to blow drying it. And um, I'm not gonna do anything special blow drying it, so I will just talk to you guys in a minute. All right, I am back. And basically I just kind of like did the roughest like little finger blow dry you've ever seen. Um, my dress is like falling. <laughs> Let me put my little curtain back over my shoulders because that's what I decided to wear today. Um, what am I doing? Okay, so I'm done with blow drying. Look at my new water bottle. Isn't that insane? I can't remember to drink water. So my new uh, plan to learn to drink water is having this giant thing staring at me in the face all the time. I have yet to finish a bottle in one day. So we will see. Next thing I'm going to do is also why I am doing this before I do my makeup. Um, because I like to use a brown dry shampoo because I am a brunette and I think that it is a great and grand invention to have like a darker dry shampoo. So I am using the Equate Beauty Midnight Magic Dry Shampoo for brunettes and um, this is supposed to be, this is a Walmart um, knockoff for uh, uh, the Batiste Brunette Dry Shampoo. So my biggest tip for dry shampoo that literally changed my life is um hold it like you're supposed to hold it six to eight inches away from your head just away because that's where it's like that's how used to i would spray like right here and then it would get one spot wet and then it wouldn't work um but it turns into a powder like six inches away from the sprayer and like your product that you thought sucked really starts to work so i will show you how i do that now and then i'm just going to do that like all over my roots and it's really funny because this brunette dry shampoo still leaves like a very light cast, but it goes away quicker. For now, I'm just gonna leave that and let it set. Why is the light so weird? Because the sun is setting. Now I am going to start curling my hair, which is the exciting part. Um, I'm just leaving that dry shampoo for now. I'm not gonna run my fingers through it. I'm not gonna do anything to it except for let it live in my hair. Um, let's get a clip, shall we? Another reason I'm doing this is because I just melted my deodorant with this new curler. Holy shit. I was about to say, cause I have a new curler and I wanna see how it does. Um, got hot enough to melt my deodorant. So that's cool. Um, I haven't had a wand in a long time. So we're gonna play wands today. So I'm gonna curl all these curls backwards um, because that is what I like. And when I get done with the curl, I will um, clip it up. So let's get started, shall we? I like the wand because it's really easy to catch the curl and clip it up. And 
and then I'm taking sections that are about like, I don't know. Usually I say an inch. I don't know if this is an inch or not. I don't currently care that much. Oh no, it fell out, it fell out. Oh dear. Just curl it right back up, no big. Whew. Could probably do this with bobby pins too. I feel like this is a um, old, old way to do your hair. Like I feel like I was watching in fact, I know I used to watch this um, Helen Anderson tutorial on curls like this with a wand, with bobby pins, and she had like light purple hair. I've been a watcher of hers for a long time. I put her in my related channels because I want to be like her. <sighs> All right, so you guys have seen me do a couple of those. I'm gonna come back to you guys uh, when I'm at the top of my head because I'm going to do those curls a little bit different but basically I'm going to do that layer by layer all the way to the top so I'll be right back. Hi, hello I am back and with um the dry shampoo in my hair and all my clips curls clipped up I look like um Marie Antoinette so that's fun um I told you guys I would come back for the top so I'm back for the top of my head here we are taking down the like bangs and crown area um basically what i'm gonna do is just go back to front and instead of making them go back this way i'm gonna make them go back this way um so let me show you guys a couple of those this is like where we're at my real hair but and i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm still not um what am i saying oh still not rubbing in that dry shampoo until later i'm just kind of letting it chill and obviously curling some of these pieces will um, rub out some of the dry shampoo, but uh, I'm not like gonna really rough it up until later. Also, obviously on my natural hair, like on the pieces that are just my natural hair, I am going to, what am I saying? Oh, leave. <laughs> Leave the curler on them for less time because they do not need that kind of hot, 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 long-term treatment. So yeah. Also these on the top, I'm gonna do a lot more work on keeping them flat to my head. Or not flat to my head, flat to the curler. And I'm also gonna make sure that they're clipped upwards instead of flat against my head because this is what's gonna give me a lot of my volume. And then basically I'm going to go upwards, but making sure I'm curling back and I will be back for my bangs. Hi, welcome back. I'm doing my bangs. Oh, I'm sweating so much. That's so cute, right? Um, I realized that like, I didn't actually have anything new to say. Uh, we're still doing the exact same thing going back with all of our hair. But something that I do like to mention always is, you know, I have a middle part and bangs so I like to take like the section that is in the middle and curl it together backwards because that gives me the best sort of swoopage because that is what I am into um and then in true like 70s Farrah Fawcett that TikTok trend right now fashion we are just going to curl all the bang pieces back um like up so that I get this nice um you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the swoopage, the feathered bangs, the whole thing that everyone loves all the time. Here's the thing I forgot about with using a wand is that you have to hold your arms up the whole time. With curling with a cur curling iron, your arms are like here, your hands are here curling. This whole time it's like my arms are up, like my arms are so tired from this. Am I a baby? Probably. Am I still gonna complain about it? Yeah, ouch. This is very difficult. And I like was not trying to like show off my armpits to everybody this whole time, but like, hi, I've got them. Ooh. How have you guys been? I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> Just hanging out, you know, getting life going after graduating, which is super fun. 
I think this is too thick of a piece, but that's okay. I'm trying to have a really good summer this summer because a ton of my friends are um, moving away and going to grad school or going to, um, you know, get a job, live their lives, the whole thing. So I'm at a very difficult time in my in my life. So we're trying to have like a, a grand old summer before then. Oh, no! I have, oh my gosh, there is one underneath all these barrettes. Now I have one clip left. I probably should go around my head. I think this is the only one. I can't believe I almost missed this whole chunk. All right, and now I'm going to very quickly do my makeup and I will be right back with the finished product, or not with the finished product, uh, to show you guys the rest of the process. Because obviously this is not the finished product. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, friends, let's get these clips out of my hair. I am literally, oh my God, just gonna start pulling. Um, because I'm really gonna, like if this gets tangly, like my plan is to brush it out anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start from the back and start taking these clips out. I have makeup on, do you like it? My lashes are like half sitting on because I didn't wait for them to dry. So they're like not even, not even on, but that's okay. Oh, I'm really gonna look, look like Marie Antoinette in a minute when just the back curls are down. <laughs> all right, I'll be back when they're all unclipped. All right, so now I look like uh, King Charles II. Um, I'm gonna do the pat down to try to find any clips. Obviously, I still have this dry shampoo in my hair, but we are about to, oh, here's one. Fix that. All right. So here are my curls. Um, and then the next thing, I've talked about this brush before, but this is my favorite brush for one, when I have dirty hair, two, brushing out curls, and also three, uh, getting product through my hair. So the important thing about it is that it has um, boar bristles, which really helps to move um, product through the hair, oils through the hair, and then also helps to smooth the hair out. And I like this round brush because it really helps to sort of create bends in your curls. So this is the curliest my hair has been in such a long time. This is so fun. Um, so basically I'm just gonna start at the bottom and start uh, brushing out these curls. So let's do it. I'm sort of like taking these curls and like meshing them together with this brush. I know some people don't like for their curls to all uh, blend together, but that is actually my favorite look. So I'm sort of helping my curls do that with this brush. And then the best thing about this brush is that once I get up here to this dry shampoo and brush my hair out with this brush, the dry shampoo just sort of blends right into my hair. See, now it's like gone and my hair does not look greasy anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush all my hair down and then we are gonna do that TikTok thing that people have been doing. So I'm gonna brush all my hair together and then out like this and watch this. I am going to get up. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna shake these out. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Sit right. All right. Okay, I love the way that that turned out. Oh, that is really, really cute. I'm gonna brush out these curls again just cause they, they got really curly again really, really quickly. Like not, they like unbrushed themselves immediately. As my hair was very, very greasy before, um, my hair is like still a little bit flat. Ha ha ha. The fact that I called this 
flat hair. Um, so I am just gonna tease the crown of my head because that is where it gets like the greasiest, greasiest. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna use this wet brush. No big. Taking the crown of my head, brushing it up, holding it all up, and then I am just going to gingerly sort of let some of that hair fall with my brush. There we go. And then I'm just gonna like very gently brush over that, obviously not brush the teasing out. There we go. Now I've got like that nice shape. Come on guys. Fluffy, 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 fluffy. All right, I am going to put a little bit more oil through it, through the ends because they are still, we've got the, the greasy situation taken care of on the top, but not the dry situation taken care of on the bottom. I am just gonna oil up the bottom of these curls so that they look sleek and smooth and nice and not like fried on the ends. There we go. I also did bright pink blush today. Literally no one can step to me. All right, and then I am just gonna hit it with a little bit of hairspray. Um, one of my tricks that you guys probably all know is that I will pull my hair up and hairspray underneath instead of hairspraying on top so that it gives more body. See the difference? I also hold hairspray pretty far away because it's also meant to be held far away. Look at that. I am a lion. I am ugh, Patsy Klein. All right. y'all this is the final look for how I style uh, incredibly dirty day eight hair uh, if you are not um, believing me that this hair is exceedingly dirty go back look at the beginning of the video it was disgusting this morning um, basically all this is is dry shampoo curling and teasing uh, but I thought that I would share it with you guys anyway I love the way it looks I'll probably wear it for another week without washing it if it stays like this um, Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it. And um, if you like me, or you had fun, or you think you might in the future, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I would love to have you here. We just hang out, chill, talk about hair and makeup, goof around, whatever. Um, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching again, and I will see, and I will see y'all next Monday. Bye. Mwah.